I'm washing my solar panels for maximum power production and I realized I should grab the camera. I just did one. What I'm doing is coming along with a green scrubby just slightly because it holds a lot of water. A sponge would be better. But then again, a green scrubby can catch some bird droppings and any other filth that really wants to stick on. Most convenient is my water tank is right next to the solar panels, <laughs> my rainwater collection. So I just run over and get this wet. And it's really not a, a long, complicated job. Just, just give it a rinse down and a little scrub to get the mud. You gotta work fast though because the solar panels are hot in the sun. They heat up really well and really quickly. So you just gotta work quickly and uh, keep that water moving, keep that scratch, that cleaning pad, sponge, whatever you use moving, and then grab a bit of water and rinse. I want to do that twice. I see it's stripping and streaming down every bit of the solar panel, so we're good to go. Oh, I just want to make sure and look and see that it is streaming down thoroughly off the solar panels. That way I know I hit every bit of uh, the panel with the rinse. It's almost like washing your car, really, because the, the sponge or the water in the car will dry as you work. So you've got to work quickly. Of course, I could bring a bucket of water over to make this more convenient, but it was a quick, spontaneous job. I wanted to do it now. The rainwater collection is right here. It's just too easy. And I don't want to filth up my my bucket water that I'll use for rinsing. So, this just works for me just fine. As you go, make sure there's no debris or anything blocking the sun from hitting your panels. Any grass, any leaves, anything like that will limit the performance of your solar panels, which you definitely don't want. Yeah, that splattered nicely all across. One more shot. Right here. It runs down nicely, covered it all. Now I've got the little Harbor Freight panels, which are in desperate need of a cleansing. So we'll do that as well now. It'll greatly improve the output of the solar panels, the power production. Now here's where I need the scratcher. There's something on here, on these. I don't know what it is, mud spots or something splattered on them, I don't know. But that will reduce the power output of the solar panels. Now this is really bad on these. No idea what it is. Maybe a goose flew over and unloaded on them or something. I don't know. A lot of little tiny white splatter marks all over this panel. And that's going to help because the solar panels are designed to reduce their... If one row... Well, these are differently made, but the, uh, the bigger panels are designed with all the rows of, of solar cells separate, isolated from one another. So this, in this way, if a leaf hits one, lands on one, it blocks out only that row and allows the rest of the panel to function as designed. So that's a very nice thing. See, it was already drying. This one's black, so it was already drying. That's why you gotta be really quick on that. Really fast on the rinse cycle.
This one has just got one splat on it. I don't know what it was, but... Now when you rinse, make extra sure to get the corners, because that's going to affect performance as well. You need dust and dirt that gets in the corners, and these little harp freight ones like this especially, it's going to make a difference. Again, I got to make sure I get the rinse up in there in the corners, just like doing a car. You don't want those water spots on there. You don't want any mud spots. This is powering your home after all. My home, anyway. Whatever you do with them. And you paid good money for them, so why not make sure they produce good power? Now, there's no real schedule as to when you should do these. Just keep an eye on it. I talked to a guy. Uh, I'm going to be doing a video about him soon, but there's a kid, Dan G. He's a student, and he converted his playground into an off-grid home. And uh, I'm going to be showing and profiling him one day on a video soon, because what he's doing is really, really cool. And he's got pollen going on right now, really bad. And I haven't got the pollen season yet, which I just wanted to mention. During the pollen season, you're probably going to want to wash your panels just about daily. That's going to be a bad time for solar. Because the pollen is going to completely trash your solar panels and cover them. Very important during the pollen season. So, thanks Dan for mentioning that to me because I'm not even there yet. Well, there we go. Clean, happy solar panels will produce much more solar power. Big difference. Now let me explain, let me grab my camera off the tripod and explain more clearly what I mean by the rows being isolated. You can see here there's a, there's a, there's a square. Each, yeah, let me see on the camera here. Here, there's a square. Each square is a solar cell, okay? And these solar cells are connected in rows all the way down. All right, and these rows are isolated from one another. So one row is separate from the next, and separate from the next, and the next, and the next, and so on. So that if a leaf lands on one of these cells, if these were not isolated, what would happen is all the power from the entire solar panel would be pumping through, and all that current would be going through this one cell. Now since it was actually resisting because there's a leaf on it, it's not producing power, it's gonna burn up. That solar cell will burn out which will affect the power output of the entire panel. Now, these are isolated. Oops, I see a little bit of mud splat up there. I gotta re-hit that one. And these are isolated from one another, each row, so that if one of the cells or, a, or part of a solar panel row is blocked, it's cut out and the rest of the rows of the solar panels keep on producing power happily. And this row is just out until you remove the garbage or a cloud passes over and goes by and then the rest of your panels are not affected. So I'm gonna hit this panel again because it's really bad. That panel had a lot of mud on it. So I'm just gonna, just to be sure it's good and happy and clean. Clean solar panels are happy solar panels. Better power output. There was just a lot of mud residue on there. And I'm gonna do it really fast because they're warm. This one was exceptionally dirty. Dust and dirt from the environment, from rain, from birds, from whatever, wind, are gonna affect your panels over time. So regular cleaning is important. I know I'm repeating myself, but it is incredibly important. Otherwise, you're gonna have one of those rows blocked out, being isolated from the rest of the uh, array, which is not that's counterproductive, is what I want to say. I didn't hit that right, I was trying to be careful. There we go. If you had a garden hose, it would be better, but I don't.
There we go. Much better. Now we're done. Clean, happy solar panels. Better power output for the tiny house on wheels, the off-grid tiny house on wheels.